If you look on your chairs, you have cards. You have one yellow, um, I think it's yellow, you call it there. You have traffic lights, you have green lights, uh, red lights, and I'll call it, I'll call it yellow. Orange, yellow. Orange, fantastic. <laughs> I'm on. Um, when, a, when, 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 a, when the models come through, um, they all going to have different scenarios, and uh, I'm going to throw the scenarios off, and then you're going to have to put your, your lights up. Green means it's good, where the, the, the scenario is. Um, amber means it's not so bad, and red means no, no. I.e., if I was coming back this for church, would that be red, green, or yellow? Red. All right. See, that's how it's going to work. Okay. So when you put your cards up, you make you make sure you put your card up with good reason. If it's bad, then you know if you can't explain your reason, then then don't put your card up. I mean, just agree. All right. Right. But before we do that, I know we've come from eating and everyone's tired and everyone's probably feeling lazy. So we're just going to get everyone to move over. Yeah. So, uh, I have this exercise that I like to do on my team. Yeah. We're going to count to ten. Okay. All do is we're going to count to five. Uh, you know what? Yeah. So we're going to put our hands up, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we're going to go down all the way to 1. And then when they hit the 1, I want you to make the loudest noise of your life, okay? So let me just practice, you know, shut your phone. Okay? Now, let's practice the loudest noise of your life. 1, 2, 3, hey, hey. Loudest noise you can make in your life. That was very dead. I'm gonna try again. One, two, three. Make some noise. That was a. Imagine, imagine someone came here with a machete to kill everyone that was Christian. Okay, you make more noise. So make some noise if someone was coming to fight you. Let's go. One, two, three. Alright. So let's go. I'm gonna go. Right hand, left hand. Okay, I'm gonna go. Here. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, four. 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 When they come through, we're going to give them a lower hand. Yeah? Alright, so the first scenario, I believe, is the job interview. The job interview. That's the first scenario. So get your cards ready. So it's going to be green. Job interview. Uh huh. Uh huh. Wait, do it for Uncle. Uncle. Hey. Uh huh. Hey. Uh -huh. Hey. This uncle is going to jump into you. Give me a second, let me make sure I record this one. Alright. Uncle, what are you getting? Wait, wait. Wow, I'm seeing a couple of reds, a couple. Alright, cool. Do your thing. Alright, next person. Right, that's a big point. She said you have to dress like your personality, you don't have to dress small. Because 
who invented smog? It's the man. So he wants to invent his own smog. So who wants to disagree with who, who agrees? Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to choose someone else. Okay. Impressions do matter. You want to hire someone that works there. But remember, he shot against his personality. So. I don't know what it's 
put in AIM so put in Trey Song. <laughs> Alright, all of those up for this guy. Wait, 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 ladies, don't put green cards because you like what you see. Be honest here, that's the fun. All of those up for this one, fam. Oh, yeah, we can. It's fair night. It's fair night. Go to the side of the other night. Me and him riding in the car now. She was gonna catch some meats. And he just like, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> and obviously, they hit him in it. So I just left. <laughs> so they hit him because he wearing clothes. <laughs> no, no, he didn't have the shirt. Did he? <laughs> Why is it appropriate? Well, it looks decent, and um, I think it looks appropriate to go to a funeral. Yeah? Yeah. Does everyone agree? Yeah. Ah, cool. I'm going to ask you this one time. Who, what makes you think this is appropriate? Nah, who told you so? I mean, not appropriate, sorry. Who makes you think it's appropriate? Society. What makes you think this is appropriate? Society. Right. So, do you, can you see what's going on? Do you, do you all realize what's happening here? Yeah? Oh, see, like I say, society, you know, trying to fight the power. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you guys, thank you very much, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> right. To conclude, to conclude the fashion show, how many of you enjoyed the fashion show? How many of you didn't enjoy the fashion show? Wait, 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 yeah. How many of you didn't enjoy the fashion show? Great stuff. Now, this next one, I'm shocked. This is, this is the one that's going to complete the whole fashion show. I don't know what her scenario is, but just open your eyes. Come on in. Wait, wait, why, why did you say why? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> you didn't say, oh, when, when. Yeah. <laughs> right. What do you get? Is wrong, but we shouldn't condemn her for what she's wearing. Yeah. Is that what we're saying? Yeah. 
So we all agree on the fact that it's wrong. Do we agree or don't? Do we agree that it's wrong? Show your hand up. What she's wearing is wrong. Do you agree? Wrong dressing, like in general. Is it not wrong? You think so? Those who think it's right, show your hands up. All right, cool. I'm gonna say one thing, and then I'm gonna get the next act to come forward. Yeah, right. The Bible says, "Flee what? Everyone, temptation. Everyone knows temptation. Everyone knows that. Yeah. The Bible says, flee temptation. It doesn't say resist temptation. It doesn't stand there and fight temptation. I mean, the Bible says what? Temptation. We're all Christians here, right? Even if we're not, that's fine. I'll still give it to you. Right? Flee temptation, this is what it means. It means when you are in a place where you are likely to get tempted, don't stand there and start praying in tongues saying, man, da, 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 da. no. Okay? <laughs> get your two feet and run away. Yes. Now, in her scenario, she said she was coming to what? Church. To church. In church, do we have boys? Yes or no? Yes. Do boys, do Christian boys have eyes? Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. Do Christian boys have eyes? Yes. Can Christian boys see flesh? Yes. Do Christian boys see breast? Yes. Don't act like you didn't hear one. Do Christian boys see breast? Do Christian boys appreciate legs of a woman? Yes. Yes, because they will get married one day. Yes. Okay, and speak to the youth as it is. So when she comes in showing everything that I am supposed to see when I get married, what's going to happen? I'm going to get tempted. Yes. So what am, I, what am I supposed to do when I'm tempted? Run right away. So because she came in to tempt us in church, we're all going to flee church and run away church. So when the pastor will come back and say, where's my members? Who's going to be? Ah. So I ask again, is this right to dress in church? No. Thank you very much. Ah. Oh, there's more. Oh, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, ladies, you're coming to church. Yes. You're coming to church. What's the what's the event? Gangster in Christ. Maybe you can do that. What was that? Gangster in Christ. Right. Let me just see the cards. How many of you think that's appropriate? Appropriate. <laughs> wow, I'm seeing a lot of greens. Oh, yeah, that's all great. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pick up some of that. Is that a green card? No, put it up. Be proud. Is that a green card? I want to see someone that's against. Yeah. Why is that not right? I wouldn't. There's someone with a red card. Red card. Red card for what she's wearing. Everyone's got green. Why, why is that green? It's green. It's green. Green is yes, you approve. Why do you like it? So the problem in church is showing fish. Okay, but in the olden days, they used to put women to cover up throughout. So when you come to church, you have to cover your head. You know, you just see your eyes and everything. You know. So should that come back into church because we don't want to see flesh? So should we not let people express themselves in church? So why is that right and that's wrong? There's a certain part of flesh that you only need to see. Like According to who? <laughs> and a certain part of flesh. <laughs> According to the eyes of man. Does everyone agree there's certain half fish that you need to show according to the eyes of man? Everyone agree? I want to speak to the guys. Guys, if you came into a church that had this, because here's the thing with church, man. Huh? In church, there are guys who want to get married to other girls. Okay? So if the girls were all coming up, would they want to get would you want to get married to this or would you want to get married to that? Guys, show me some cards. All hands. All those guys that want to get married to this, put your hands up. All those guys that want to get married to this, put your hands up. Wait, all those guys that want to get married in general, show me your hands. One, two, three. All those guys that don't want to get married, show me your hands. I see guys in the back. No hands, no four, no four hands. How are you doing, sir? What's your name? No? No chance. Do you want to get married? Oh, no, sir. Not at all. Why not? Why? Just stop. You want to get married? Do you want to get married, sir? Why not? Same reason. You didn't give a reason. You said no. <laughs> Do you want to get married or not? Give him your age. Give him time you know, to change his mind. Right. You want to get married? Yes, sir. So, yes, right, look at those two girls. Yeah? Which one would you get married to if you had a chance to? Left. Left. Why left? Because I'm on the left. 
<laughs> Look at her face. Look at what she's wearing. Based on what she's wearing. Ah, cool. So obviously, I'm assuming church guys want to marry people that wear more clothes. So, church girls wear more clothes. Yeah? Is that fair enough? Is that fair enough? Yeah. Yeah. No. Church, now, girls. Guys want to marry girls who wear more clothes. Is that fair enough? Yes or no? Yes? No? We're not sure. Right, I'm hoping by the end of today, we're going to get some clarity into that. Okay? Because there's a way that Christ... You know when you say, I want to be in Christ? There's a certain way that you have to live. There's a certain rules. Just like when you say, I want to be a soldier for the British um, Army, there's certain rules and regulations that you have to follow. And what happens with Christ is, because Christ ain't want to come and just tell you, because you're in you have to live like this, it leads you to be free. Also, the time to take that freedom, it's in the link. You get it? Most Christians just in the link. Because Christ doesn't say, this is how you have to dress. It just tells you, there's a certain direction of how you have to dress, but, you know, you make it your own thing, and then we just take the link. Amen. Alright, let's give them a hand. Let's give them a hand. He's enjoying it so far. Let me see if you're paying attention. Number two. Number one. Three. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. All right. Next, we have uh, we have a fellow brother. He's had a change in his life. I don't I don't want to reveal too much myself, but you know it's the typical bad guy to the good guy. And now we can have uh, well, brother friends can have a discussion with him. Just to, so we can get an idea on what like, he was like. Let's give a clap for all going from Hey, And uh, we'll call up Ab Brother Argo. Okay, hold on. So it's just going to be a small discussion, just finding out, you know, about his past and. Uh, and how the future is now. And yeah, it's process. So number freeze! <laughs> Try to listen to English and then understand. 